This video is brought to you by Timehop. Download Timehop today to get your fresh daily dose of nostalgia. Whether it was one of their first roles or they were making a surprise cameo, these famous celebrities all made an appearance. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot appeared on Nickelodeon shows. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're only counting guest appearances and not looking at lead actors. Kesha, that was so great! You totally rocked our home! <laughs> Thanks! Want to come upstairs and see my room? No! Come on! Number 10. Jessica Zor, Drake and Josh this actress and model has plenty of fans fawning over her, but back before her name was well known, she actually took on the role of adoring fan herself. On an episode of Drake and Josh, Zor played the role of one of Drake's many followers. Zor made a split second appearance in the episode Two Idiots and a Baby, where Drake abandons Josh with a baby to play at one of his band's gigs. I'm gonna go finish my catapult. Oh, that's Scotty. I gotta go to the gig. Luckily for him, the decision paid off because Jessica Zor's character was more than happy to meet him. Hi, Drake. We can't wait to see you guys play tonight. Really? Totally, your band rocks! Number 9. Vivica A. Fox, True Jackson VP No stranger to turning heads in the world of television, soap star Vivica A. Fox turned heads of grown-ups everywhere when she popped up on an episode of True Jackson VP. Good evening, girls. Are we ready to have fun? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Since her first appearance on Days of Our Lives as Carmen Silva, Fox has pretty much done everything, from multiple Christmas movies to a stint on The Celebrity Apprentice. On True Jackson VP, she plays the role of the headstrong and intelligent mother to True. Only one woman could have raised the character of True Jackson, and that's someone like Vivica. True, you know the house rules. Everyone's welcome. <laughs> Number 8. Jane Lynch, iCarly. You might recognize her best in a tracksuit as Sue Sylvester from Glee, but would you believe it if we told you Jane Lynch once acted as Sam Puckett's mom on iCarly? Mom? I know who I am. This fabulous teen comedy featured Carly, Sam, and Freddie, three friends who started an online show. Sam was definitely the feistiest of the bunch, and we were often left wondering, where did an attitude like that come from? Well, on a very special episode of iCarly, our questions were answered. Lynch played Pam Puckett, Sam's mom, with a seriously aggressive personality. It must have been easy for Lynch to adjust to playing this type of character. You know, I guess I could have had a worse kid. You mean that? I do, and I'm sorry I always haven't been as understanding as I could have been. Number 7. Ashley Benson, Zoe 101. Since her roles as Hannah on Pretty Little Liars and Brit in Spring Breakers, Ashley Benson has become a certified teen icon in her own right. I just feel different for some reason. I feel changed. Like, I just want to be a good girl now. But before she confirmed her status as a star, Benson showed up on an old teen classic, Zoe 101. In the episode, Quinn's Date, Benson played Candace, a stereotypical hot girl Quinn freaks out on her quest to find love. So, you want to hook up this weekend? Maybe see a movie or something? You know I have a social studies report due on Monday. Hey, I'm social. Study me. Even though Benson was made out to play a villainess character, her natural charm still showed through, proving that she's always been totally likable. Number 6. Lucy Hale, Drake and Josh The second of our Pretty Little Liar starlets to appear on this list, this time we're giving a shout out to Lucy Hale. Lucy Hale has shown up multiple times on various kid and teen programs, but one of her first and most memorable was on Drake and Josh. Hey, you want to see a movie with me? Sure. So what's your name? Hazel. Hale played a cute girl going on a date with Drake, but this episode was filled with drama as they all ended up being implicated in Josh's problem of being confused with an infamous movie theater robber. <laughs> Stop 
just one episode earlier, Vanessa Hudgens also made a guest appearance on the show. Number 5. Jessica Alba – The Secret World of Alex Mack Jessica Alba has done incredible things with her career, taking her status as a Hollywood actress as a launching point to become a powerful entrepreneur and the owner of The Honest Company. I wanted to make it easy for parents to get safe products that actually work. Before she was taking over the world, however, she was acting on Nickelodeon's The Secret World of Alex Mack at the very beginning of her career. Why don't you watch where you're going? Yo, check out her lunchbox. <laughs> Alba played Jessica, the evil girlfriend of the boy that Alex had a crush on. This was her first TV role, having appeared in several episodes, but definitely not her last. Number 4. James Vanderbeek. Clarissa explains it all. James Vanderbeek is comfortable in the world of teenage drama, as the star of Dawson's Creek, quite possibly the most dramatic of all teen dramas. Before his life of breaking hearts on the creek, Vanderbeek popped up as a youngin on an episode of Clarissa Explains It All. Wow, Jade, you're amazing. You're pretty neat yourself. Really? Will I lie to you? James played Polly, a bad boy drummer who caught the eye of Clarissa. The episode emphasized Vanderbeek's ability to play the type of guy that girls lust over, which ended up serving him well in his career. So you still want to hang out? I guess, but I'm kind of shy around strangers. I like shy. Number 3. Kesha, Victorious How much ice cream would you eat to see Kesha live in concert? K. Uh, A. A. K. Well, the students of the fictitious performing arts school featured in Victorious put their commitment as fans to the test in exactly those terms. Tori. Tori. Hey, uh, Tori. What? Oh. what? 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 I gotta find the S! In this episode of Victorious, Tori, Kat, Jade, and their friends were determined to meet their idol, so they downed as much ice cream as they could to win that golden concert ticket. Luckily for them, the lactose overdose paid off as Kesha delivered a personal concert, also giving fans in the audience an awesome performance of one of her signature songs. Number 2. John Cena, True Jackson VP Possibly one of the most beloved and famous wrestlers of his generation, John Cena has done pretty much everything to be as accessible as he can to his fans. It's like this case is unwrapped up. But I couldn't have done it without you, Dr. Kavanaugh. Call me Trish. <laughs> he showed off his comedic side on the same star-studded True Jackson VP episode that Vivica A. Fox appeared on. And I'll be out in the lobby, ready to answer the first 300 questions you kids may have. Then I'll make sure to take pictures with each and every one of you. <laughs> he played himself, appearing at a preview screening for a made-up movie. The cast of the show was more than excited to meet the wrestler, and this role was most likely a walk in the park for Cena, as he clearly loves meeting his dedicated fans. In your international box office hit Shanghai Spooky 7 Rise of the Python, what was the code you punched in to open the weapon suitcase? That is the single greatest question I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I need pics! I need pics right now! I need pics! Hi! Hi! Smile! Girls, you're my favorite! Oh, I'm okay! Oh, hey! You're on my app! Come in! Uh, hello? Who's there? Um, uh, I'm Shane. Uh, Freddy's nerd friend? Um, I, I guess. Where are we? Where is an opponent? It's when. Okay. When are we? It's our birthday. Seven years from now. Our 21st birthday. I'm 21? That rules! Where are all my friends? Where's the party? Is it here? Number 1. Jim Parsons, iCarly Jim Parsons plays the eccentric and brilliant Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory, but at one time in his career, he played another unusual character, that of a mental patient on iCarly. Will you quit staring at me? Please get me some beryllium nitrate and four metric tons of ionized quadrazine. <laughs> Sorry, I don't roll that way. This hilarious episode sees Sam voluntarily admitting herself into a mental institution after developing feelings for the geeky Freddy. As Carly and Freddy attempt to visit their friend, Parson's character Caleb comes out of a supply closet and starts making insane requests of the iCarly gang. You've got to get me out of here. I must get back. To where? The future. 
Caleb insists that he is from the future and tells increasingly bizarre stories to the incredibly gullible Gibby. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. What? The TV's not on. <laughs> This video is brought to you by TimeHop. Download TimeHop today to get your fresh daily dose of nostalgia. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.